Good evening, and welcome back to Mage Quest. I'm Odi Aberanis. On today's episode, we're going to continue our path through witchery, doing a little bit of circle magic, maybe getting into some poppets, and hopefully uh, even cooler stuff beyond that today. So let's get going, we got lots to do. Alright, so as I mentioned, we got some witchery to do ahead of us here. Last time we were working on the altar here, and we got this all activated with the circles here. And it is kind of a pain to put these circles down, you need to change them out frequently. So one of the first things we do, and the very next quest we're going to handle, is to make the Rune and Go quest for the Circle Talisman. And what this will do is, it will lay down the circles for us, so we never have to try to worry about making these again. Uh, it'll do it automatically for us, so that's going to be a huge thing. We can actually make a bunch of these things, and do it for all different kinds of circles we might need. Uh, ultimately we would need like, let's see, if we did it like this... We could do the next, this is the two sizes, I think this is small and medium. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a seven, and then eight, nine, ten, eleven, so that's an eleven. So we have a seven by seven and eleven by eleven here. I think that's as big as they go. Let's see here quick. And fifteen by fifteen, what uses a fifteen by fifteen? Not much, that's a huge circle. Rate of transposition. Transpose orb below. Oh man, from the orb below. Jeez. That's just iron though. Transpose iron from the orb below. Interesting. And call animals. We need to cover three or more for that. So this is beyond us at the moment here. So I think we're just going to start with the two white ones here. These are used for all different kinds of things anyways. So we'll get those going here. First we'll need to make a circle talisman. And then we'll need to do the rituals. So we're going to need our attuned crystal here. Our attuned stone rather. And we'll need, um, what did it say in here? It said, so basically there's two different recipes. If you can do it with, um, you can do it with just the circle talisman and redstone, and then it costs, uh, power basically. But if you do the entuned stone instead, it doesn't consume power to lay down the circles again. So I think we're just going to skip this over and go right for the attuned crystal, attuned stone version, which doesn't require power to lay back down. So we need a uh, glowstone. Hopefully I have some over here in my storage room. We'll, we'll see though in a second. If I can find it right away, I will be impressed. Let's see, um, here. Nope. Ah, we can break one of these down for sure. There we go. Only three from that, not four. Interesting. That's all right, and then we need a circle talisman. So we just go bam, 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 bam. Oh, you know what we need is a diamond also. We'll have plenty of those in here though, I'm sure. 33 diamonds, not too bad. So, 33 diamonds. Take one of those, pass it around. And Circle Talisman. So we got Circle Talisman, we have the Attuned Stone, and Glowstone. So if we throw those into the ritual here, it should make what we want it to make. Uh, and it'll absorb all these ritual, uh, the chalk here into the talisman and then we can lay this this down wherever we need it to be down the road here so first we throw in the talisman nope that missed so first we throw in the talisman then we throw in the glowstone oh gosh stand back a little bit and then we throw in the tune crystal and then do we need to activate this still there we go cool so it didn't consume the crystal it does require us to redo the whole ritual with that. So, let's see, the ritual to charge the crystal again. Let's see, ritual of charging. Requires the attuned stone, glowstone, dust, redstone, and wood ash, and quick lime, and the circles we just made. So now we have a circle that can charge the circle we just made. We lay this down, puts it all back there. We can, we can charge this crystal then if we get all the ingredients to do that. So I'm gonna actually charge this back up again, so it's ready to go. But we also accomplished a quest just now, so let's take a look and see if that's all that needs to be done. Portable Ritual, uh, it needs us to create, let's see, Circle Talisman, any. Uh, circle Talisman, small, it needs a small ritual, okay. So we try to make one of these. Um, now, that's the thing, does it require, the one we created is not what it was after. Uh, circle Talisman, yeah. So the Circle Talisman we just used here, we need to uh, re-, re we don't get to use it again, right? I think it was just one time used. Yeah, so we need to rebind this with the proper thing here. We don't want to have the outer circle here in order to accomplish the task here. So let's recharge our crystal here, and then we'll do the one that actually needs to be accomplished for the task here. 
which is doing the small circle. Um, yeah, so this is where I was reading. It requires the 500 energy normally, but you can also use the redstone and a charged... No, I can replace the redstone with a charged ritual stone and glowstone dust to make it not require energy. So if we just want to use redstone, we can throw this circle in there and um, it'll just do the outer circle, but it'll require 500 energy to lay it down again. So if we just throw these two things in there, we can absorb these circles into here. Let's try that again here. So it's like this, and like this, and then bam. There we go. So it absorbs it in there, and now it has the small and medium, but we need one with just a small here. So let's lay this back down again. We'll waste a little bit more redstone doing this one more time here. And the energy is not a big issue because we have plenty of that from this area here. So we'll grab the redstone again, and then we'll have to clean up this circle here. Now, somebody was saying we can actually use an axe, possibly, to break these. Because they're, they're very, very slow to break before. Let's try an axe. That's better. Okay, that'll work. Not as, not as, not as, um, not super fast. But it's better than it was. If I break these by hand, it takes forever. So, uh, axe is a, a decent trade-off, I think. I hear a... I hear a ghast, but we're in the overworld, so that means it's an Isaac running around. Isaac makes the same sound as a ghast in this, from necromancy. So we'll just be aware of that. If we see any tears being fired at us, we'll know he's close by. Oh man. Alright, so, we'll throw in our circle talisman, and throw in our redstone. There we go. All right, cool. So let's see if the quest is solved now. We got the reward bag for this. Circle Talisman is made. Okay, so is that it for... That looks like it's it for this line of quests here. The uh, Rune and Go quest. So this is introduction to circle magic and getting uh, circles laid down easily. So now we have that. We should probably make a few of these. We can lay down whatever we need down the road here. But uh, the issue is you have to lay them down once and you don't get to reconsume them. So I thought they were, they were reusable, but I guess not. Um, that's okay though. It's kind of nice to be able to, to move it where you need to put it. Um, that's fine though. So let's put this away here. And we'll move back into something else for Witcher here. And I think we'll be moving on to Poppets next. So let's take a look here quick and see. Um, uh, Poppets. Let's see. We need to craft a one Poppet. Yes, that kind of dolly. Okay, so that should be pretty easy to make. I was looking up name tags there. Let's see how we can... Polly? No. Pop it. There we go. Not that kind of dolly. I was thinking po dolly, poly. That's where it came from. So we just need Spanish moss, which I've been collecting a little bit of here. Then some wool and a bone needle, which is any kind of bone and flint. Makes eight bone needles. And then some string and wool. And then we can create our first poppet. So let's grab our Spanish moss. Uh, where did I put that? Five. Here we go. And bone. We need a flint. So the reason I was getting a name tag here is uh, we had a bit of fortuitous happenstance here in that I got a witch to all of a sudden randomly spawn inside of my uh, well of suffering here. And the nice thing about witches is that they never die. They heal themselves with potions as fast as the well of suffering kills them. So it will stay here forever and refill my uh, blood altar constantly. Um, I renamed it Source because it's the source of all my LP from now on. So, uh, yeah, if we get a couple of those going, we could refill this thing super fast. But uh, as it stands right now, this will be just fine for our purposes here. So, let's grab everything else we need for this. We have oh, we have 31 bones already on us. We need a flint. Don't know where I might have that. Just kind of guessing now at this point. Hmm. Ah, here it is. So, that makes eight bone needles, right? Yeah, just one makes eight. We need some wool, white wool. And did I see that already in here? Ah, we got nine of it in here. We also need some string, which I have tons of as well. And what else? Anything? Let's see, wool, Spanish moss, bone needle. We got everything we need. So we can make this pop it then and see what else is on the docket then. This might not be the only thing that's part of this here, so we'll put this down in here, put the string in here, and make our first poppet, not bound. Okay, so, 
Let's take a look and see if there's anything else to do with this. Uh, nope, we can claim the reward here and get another reward bag. Let's check these out here. Oh, we got Isaac's head. I don't know what that's good for here. Can we put it on our own? We can put it on our own head. That is creepy. Yeah, that's a little creepy. Um, we'll not wear that, I think. And in the second one, we have iron leggings. All right, fine. We'll wear iron leggings then. We got our silver pants on. And this belt looks like a little too low for the pants. That's all right, though. So, let's see here quick and see what the next quest is going to be. Or poppets? Tag locks. Okay, so tag locks. In order to bind the poppet to the being in this world, you're going to have to include a sample of the creature inside the poppet. You can collect these samples using a tag lock kit. Simply craft a tag lock kit, then sample from any human. Tag locks aren't 100% efficient at collecting samples, but it's more likely to collect a sample if the entity doesn't know you're there. Sneaking... Taking the sample from behind the player both increase the chances of a successful collection. Since I understand it's incredibly hard to collect a sample from yourself, there is an alternative. Shift right clicking any bed will collect a sample from your own essence. Cool. So we'll probably do that because I don't have anybody else on the on the game here with me. Uh, I wonder if like all of these guys running around here, all the different uh, little uh, zombie guys that pop up here, if I could get one of them maybe. I don't think it'll work just quite like that. Uh, we'll stick to getting ourselves. So let's get a tag lock kit going here. And we'll make a poppet that's bound to ourselves then. So, tag lock. Vintage beast's head somehow pops up for when I search tag. Interesting. Um, glass bottle with a bone needle. Shouldn't be an issue. So, glass bottles. Do I have any of those? That's the next question. Do I have any glass, even? I do have glass bottles. Let's make a few of these. Because we have so many bone needles already, we can just make a few. And it said it's not 100% efficient, so we might need more than one here. But if we shift right-click our bed, there we go. We got uh, Modi Operandus. Okay, cool. So now we'll see what the next step is here. So we need we need six of sixteen. Oh, okay. It's not fully uh, made yet. I don't know. Let's try another one here. Should we right-click with this again? Oh, it's not the it's not full essence. Is that's what the problem is? Uh, it says about six of sixteen. I should probably craft 16. Oh, that's because we have to craft 16. Doesn't make any sense to me. Let's just do, keep doing this. Let's see if the quest is happy now. Well... I don't know. Since they're not 100% efficient, I should craft up a 16. So we need more bottles, basically. Um, which means we need more glass. Which means we need more sand. Which means that... Rorax fell out of the world. So I think what we'll do is go take a sleep here, and I'll go get some more sand, and then we'll have some more bottles for tomorrow here. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I should have enough bottles here now. I don't know quite what it's counting as far as the uh, 6 of 16 there, because I only made three bottles so far. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But uh, now that we have enough bottles here, it should do the trick for us. So let's just make a bunch of these and see what it says now. 14 of 16. I don't know how that math works out. We have 9 plus 2 in our inventory. I don't know why that it thinks it's 6. Don't quite know. Don't quite know. It's not quite right. So we need two more of these according to it. So these 15 and 16. Yeah, we need one more. One more should do the trick. There we go. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Tag your it. We need a chicken. We need a cow and a pig. Okay, so we can do that. I should have that stuff around here. Um, let's see. I did have some pigs over here. And chickens. I don't have any cows, though. Oh, man, it's a mess over here. Alright, so we've got a pig. Didn't, didn't quite work, though. It says bound to pig. You manual detect? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, we didn't do any of that stuff. I don't know what it's actually submitting here, but it, it seems to have worked. We get uh, four more jars back. It consumed all my own body. Okay, so my own body apparently is part chicken, part cow, and part pig is what that's telling me right now. Anyways, let's check our reward bag. Some mob hunter reputation. Interesting. So we can actually go into this initiation quest here. And if we go to mob hunter reputation, where would we turn that in, you think? 
Um, well, maybe no, no worry. Oh, problem. Oh, there we go. If we do mob preservation reputation, okay, so that's not quite right. Mob hunter pre pre uh, is what we need here. Um, don't know where we find that, but I think for now we'll take a look at the, what the next quests are here. So let's take a look and see what the next quest in House L Blocka is. Uh, let's see, we have protective poppets or black magic poppets. Now black magic poppets might be tough to do on myself here. Vampiric poppets, um, basically the way the vampiric poppets work is that anytime I take damage, it inflicts it upon someone else uh, and they, they take the damage for me. The voodoo poppets, I'm not too sure about. I'm guessing whatever damage I caused to the poppet causes it to the target if it's anything like regular voodoo. I'm not entirely sure about that one. Let's take a look here quick. Poppets can be crafted in order to protect the holder from a multitude of things or to injure remotely, cause injury remotely to others. Whilst I can teach you the ways of one or the other, the choice is yours which path you take. Black magic poppets allow the user to remotely damage the tag locked entity. They are the vampiric poppet and the voodoo poppet. So I think whatever we pick here, we, we forego the other direction here. Protective poppets can be crafted in order to protect the holder from a multitude of things or to cause injury remotely. Okay, so protection poppets prevent users from taking certain types of damage and do not include the vampiric poppet or voodoo poppet. So we can make earth, fire, or water protection. So basically water protection would let us breathe underwater, I'm guessing. Fire would protect us from fire and earth would protect us from... I have no idea what that would actually protect us from. So what we'll do, I think, is create... We have to create one of each of these, I think, actually. But um, yeah, poppets protect me. Okay, so we can do this quick. Uh, what do we all need for those things here? So let's take a look at poppets. And now I have samples of myself readily available. So let's take a look here. So earth, we need clay and dirt and some feathers. That's not a problem. For water, we need some water artichoke globes. Now that we don't have. We're not growing those just yet here. We could though. Um, and then ink sack. And ink sack. And then for the fire, ooh, hunger protection. But now this would be fun. That would be a really good idea. We don't have to worry about hunger anymore if that was the case. That's going to be a good one to have. Fire protection requires ember moss and bat, wool of bat. That we probably can do right away here. So let's take a look and see. We need a few more poppets, of course. Um, so we need to... We need to bind this to ourselves first, I think. Uh, I think we can just... Do we um, put it with a tag lock here? I think that's how we bind it. So let's take a look here quick. And let's go bam and bam. No. No. What if I right click with it? No. Hmm. I thought we bind it by putting it together with something here. Uses. Let's see here quick. Enchantments. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. I think there's a book I can craft about poppets that might explain some more stuff to us. Uh, let's take a look here with the witchery mod here. Okay, so worst case scenario, I'll just have to take a look online quick here because it doesn't look like there's a book for poppets in the mod here. Maybe they think it's straightforward enough here. Or maybe it's under like Conjuration and Fetishes, something I don't have yet. Uh, I'm not quite certain. So uh, I'm going to take a look at this quick here and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got everything I need I think now. I managed to get the Water Artichoke Globes pretty easily. I already had some seeds over there and that kind of thing. I just grew them up really quick. And uh, I gathered everything else I need. I also made the three poppets we need here too. So um, what I found out just by researching online here is that we actually do the tag lock as the final step of the process. First we have to make the poppets and then we combine them together with a tag lock kit. So let's make the poppets we need for this quest here. First of all here, uh, we need the water protection poplet or the earth protection poplet rather, which is clay, feathers, and dirt. I think the fact that it's feathers and dirt means that we're probably safe from fall damage then. What this will be is water protection, which I'm thinking will protect us from drowning. Uh, and that is everything we need for this. And then the final one is the fire protection, which will protect us from burning. So as you can see, this is super, super powerful stuff here. Um, and very worthwhile to explore if you're into witchery here. So, got the three of those going here. And let's take a look and see. Our quest should be done here then. Protective Poppet, Manual Submit, Claim Rewards, did it consume those? Oh, it consumed them! Uh, what a jip. We have to make those all over again. The last quest for the Poppets here is to 
make the popper protection shelf or poppet shelf rather and the poppet shelf uh let's read about it here naturally you might want to naturally you might get bored with carrying your poppets around with you to ensure constant protection that's where a poppet shelf comes in this nifty little shelf will allow poppets to act as if they're in your inventory remotely protecting you so we're gonna make one of these really quick here it is uh, a poppet protection shelf is three four attuned stones and some nether bricks and some green wool now the green wool and the nether bricks i have Already here, we just gotta make some attuned stones, which requires whiff of magic and a diamond. And let's take a look at this. Ooh, speed runes. Well, that's nice. Um, but we need whiff of magic. Oh, we have to, we can make four of those really easily. And uh, we already have one in here, but I won't waste that. We'll save that for recharging and that kind of thing. So we'll make the whiff of magic. We have three. I'll need one more bucket of lava here and diamonds. Okay, so let's go back and grab some lava quick here and some diamonds and we can make our poppet shelf here and we'll have to remake all of the uh, poppets we just uh, wasted here unfortunately all right so i've gathered up all the materials to make the poppet shelf here have that and i went ahead and remade the three poppets we were missing from before we just need to rebuy them to ourselves so let's do that and that and that and then we'll go find a good spot for this poppet shelf in our witchery hut. I don't know where we can put it. Uh, that's a nice spot for it to look. I don't know what it looks like on the ground, actually, even. So let's put it over here for now. We'll see what it looks like. So it looks like we just put the poppets into here. And we have room for, ooh, it looks like eight, nine poppets here. So we have three there. And uh, we can do a lot more with that. Let's take a look and see what the next quest might be. Pop it's on the shelf, claim the reward, and we got eight lungs. Great. Just what I wanted. Uh, well, that finishes that part up here. We didn't do the dark magic things, but that's still a path for us to go through. We can always do those later if we want to, but really without anybody uh, reliable to tag lock with the vampiric, for instance, uh, it's not really going to help us too much. We might be able to do a witch over there, for instance. Our witch friend might heal itself, and uh, that would work. Um, if it's within range of the poppet shelf, I believe this kind of works as a chunk loader also. Uh, because it has to stay to keep this loaded so that uh, if something happens to me, it knows that uh, it's not supposed to. But now we should be invulnerable to drowning. So this protects us from death of but drowning. Okay, that's right. So these things don't protect you from taking damage from drowning. They just protect you from death from drowning. So if I was going to die, it would basically consume the poppet instead of me dying. It would... Uh, it would it would basically steal the poppet instead if uh same with fall damage if I st i'll still take fall damage but um i won't actually die from it so that's kind of the poppet's work anyways i think that's gonna do it for this episode of mage quest i hope you enjoyed it my voice is uh, not holding up as well as i wanted it to right now i'm still kind of getting over to cold here i'll be back for another one very soon hopefully my voice will be better and i'll be able to continue making lots more of these mage quest episodes for you if you are enjoying it please let me know via likes or comments and then I'll see you guys back next time for more. Have a good night.